Good evening, and welcome to the Living Nativity, performed by the youth of All Souls Catholic Church. Now let us begin the story of our Savior's birth. Many have undertaken to compile a narrative of the events that have been fulfilled among us. Matthew, Mark, and John, all of them eyewitnesses from the beginning, were ministers of the word, treasured the word, and so have handed the word down to us. Even today, Father David, Father Ed, Father Ken, and Father Andre treasure the word and live by this word. So after having investigated everything accurately anew, I and my friends from this community of All Souls Catholic Church are delighted to present the story to you in an orderly sequence. I encourage you, remain open to what the Lord might speak to you tonight. Remember that this word, which was made flesh by Mary's yes, is with us this very day, healing us, teaching us, and loving us. Tonight, you will hear our prophet's prophecy of our Savior's birth. God spoke to them. God told them what was to come. So now journey back in time with us to see the birth of our Lord unfold. Shall we begin? No. God with us. But as for you, Bethlehem Ephrata, too little to be among the clans of our Judah. From you, one will go forth for me to be ruler in Israel. His going forth is from long ago, from the days of eternity. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph, and the virgin's name was Mary. His name shall be Jesus. He will be great. He will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord will give him the throne of David his father, and of the kingdom there should be no end. How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me. From the incense the sound of your grating reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord will be fulfilled. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, 
for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. The rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. And holy.
in the days when I was living, a father had to give a dowry, which is a large sum of money, to the man who wished to marry his daughter. Now, there was a man in my town who had three daughters, and he was very upset because he was poor and he could not afford the dowry. This meant his daughters would be sold into slavery. So I decided to help him out. One night, when the entire town was asleep, I threw a bag of gold into the open window of their home. The bag happened to land in a stocking that was hanging by the fireplace to dry. I did this on three separate occasions, once for each daughter. The father and his daughters were overjoyed. They told everyone. The word spread, and soon people all over were hanging their stockings by the fireplace. Does this sound familiar to any of you? That's right. The legend of Santa Claus is based on my life. But the important thing to remember tonight is that Christmas is a season of giving, not receiving. I ask all of you, adults and children, to be generous. Share of yourselves like I do. Children, share your food, your clothes, your toys, and your time. For each of these is a precious gift to be shared with others. Speaking of gifts, why don't we see what gifts I have for you today? 